backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button I want to give you an update on my ginger plant growing in zone 5b this ginger plant is six months old and it's ready to be transplanted as it is root bound because ginger plants take 10 months to mature this plant had to be over winter it was growing outside in my backyard very well in October I bought it in and I am currently growing it under my grow light however it will not be ready for harvest until spring of 2020 so let's go ahead and start repotting this ginger plant this ginger plant is so root bound I literally had to cut the pot so I'm gonna go ahead and take this ginger plant out it is really root bound. So see the roots? It's root bound. And you can see the ginger right here that um, is growing right there. So that's pretty impressive. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and transplant it into a much bigger pot. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in here like this. And I think I'm going to take a little more soil out so it can set a little deeper. And I am using an, 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 an organic uh, potting mix. I think it's sitting in there perfect now. So I'm going to go ahead and backfill my ginger plant with the organic potting mix. And keep in mind that the soil that was already in this container was moistened. I'm really excited about the prospects of experiencing fresh ginger. Add a little more potting soil to this pot. Once this plant is able to start um, maturing, I will cut off a piece of the ginger and start a new plant. So I'm going to go ahead and continue backfilling the ginger plant. I'm going to go ahead and water the plant, give it a good watering. And put it back under my grow light to continue growing until maturity, which will be spring of 2020. Once harvested in spring and after all chances of frost have passed, I will break or cut off a finger and make sure that section is at least one to two inches long and at least one of the buds look like a rounded pointed on it 
to help prevent rot in the ginger root, I will allow that ginger cup piece to dry for a day or two in a warm, dry place before putting them in. And we'll do another update when I harvest my ginger. So I just wanted to show this to you. Now, when this is the second time I've repotted this ginger. When I repotted it, piece of that fresh ginger and put it in this pot. So as you can see, I have another ginger plant growing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot it in this particular pot. Take some of the soil out. There it is. That's that little piece I cut from here and started this and potted in my bay window. And as you can see, it is also root bound. So I'm gonna go ahead and repot it in this plant, in this pot, excuse me. Now this particular ginger plant is about a month old and keep in mind it was growing in my bay window in a northern exposure ginger plants do not like direct sunlight they like indirect sunlight so I think that's why it did so well however I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my grow light so that I can assure success with this one. So I already repotted this one. So this is the first repotting of this particular ginger plant. Which actually came off this piece when I repotted it the, the, when it was three months old. So this is the second repotting on this one. This particular ginger plant came from a piece from this plant when I repotted it. So you can continue having ginger plants grow in your, in your home in a nice window with good um, light exposure or under a grow light. So as you can see, this ginger plant has now been repotted again for the second time. It is getting too much light under my grow light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it off to the side because you can see the ends are a little brown so it's getting too much light. So I'm gonna put it off to the side so it's not getting too much direct light. But again, it's six months old. I can't, ready to, can't wait to harvest it until spring of 2020. Uh, once um, all chances of frost have passed, I will go ahead and harvest it, break off another piece here, and start a small one. So here, uh, there you have it. My um, two ginger plants that have both been repotted. And one other thing I want to bring to your attention is I do put my plants on a pebble tray to ensure that it's getting moisture and getting humidity around the plant. So I just wanted to give you an update on how my ginger plants are doing. This again was growing outdoors over the summer of 2019, ready to be harvested in spring of 2020. It is its second repotting. This particular plant came off this one and look at it, doing really, really good. And I can't wait to put this outside in um, spring of 2020 and this will be ready for harvest in fall of 2020. So there you have it. 
an update on my ginger plants. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.